And we're back with Age of Wonders for learning as we play. We're playing our frog boys here. And we're on turn seven. So let's just add some more turns. The idea being I play and I explain what I do, why I do it as I do it. So you get a better idea of how this might be played and what the rationale behind the things is. Helps you understand the mechanics a little bit better. Then if I just tell you endlessly about this button does that. Now, our negotiations just keep going on as long as we have this Whispering Stone assigned to the free city. And, yeah, uh, we have reached a pact of cooperation, which is nice. And we are now working towards the Pact of Loyalty, which contributes two to the Rally of Sieges, which is, uh, Legis, which is quite good eventually these will just be fully fledged friends of ours right now we can't trade anymore because we already have a trade going on with them for uh the clover thing which increases how cities view us including themselves which increases how quickly they turn to liking us and uh, how closer we get to integration now we're still on trying to get into this area to find a second place for another city here. So we'll just keep turning a little bit. Now, I merged these armies. The first one I didn't move, the second one moved all the way. Uh, both can no longer move now. Uh, that's kind of how it goes. We have unlocked a new spell, hold the line, which is pretty good. And we can now look at the next thing that we might be doing. And I think we go for a minor race transformation. These are pretty good. The minor ones just give bonuses and not much else. And this one here gives um, adjacency bonus on animals or cavalry units, which our hero currently is because they are riding a thing. And any unit that is next to one of those gets 10% damage and 10% hit chance, 10% uh, critical hit chance, which is which is nice. Our city is still building through the queue, and we would like it to build more units as well. So let's build some new pikemen, because those keep dying. Alright, new day dawns. Let's move deeper into the fog of war. Oh, there's something interesting. A small creature cage. So if we free this, there's definitely something... Defending it, we get a small creature. And we can annex a new province, uh, province. Let us check this out. What do we need next? To build a blacksmith boosted, granary boosted, two foresters, two quarries. Mm. All right. So this city here is slowly encroaching into our territory. Uh, I like to block them off early. Doesn't mean it, it's a hostile action or anything. Though these... Um, these areas have a claim on them. So if we take this, they might object to us wanting to take this. But it's a good one to take because it has a pasture. So we get plus 10 food no matter what we put on here. And so we'll try and claim this. And it is still our, very much our claim. So they didn't get a say in all that. Meaning now we should have some more boosted stuff. Reducing what they cost. And... All that kind of stuff. So they, they can't go here anymore. They can't take this. This is ours now. Uh, this here is still up for grabs. And since there is a limited amount of stuff and a limited amount of reach for your city, um, it's, it's good to make sure you block access of other cities off to what you're trying to claim. They, they can go here. We can't go here. Not with this city. A new empire development skill. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, we regenerate quicker in our own uh, domain. This happens anyway, but it's quicker this way. Um, I'm not going to spend the Imperium, though, because we want the 200 soon, and we can still spend 300... 100 of 200... 100 of 300? Yeah. All right, we met a new ruler. Uh, we can start off by being like, hey, here, have some gold, let's be friendly. Uh, but... I don't really care all that much at this moment. So we'll just say goodbye. Nothing to worry about just yet. They are 
I don't know. I don't really know where they are. Are they here? No. I don't think they're here. So, all right. Let us pick this cage here to get a new unit. We get a lesser storm spirit out of it, which we will integrate into our mighty, mighty army. And then we will just keep moving a little bit. We find a chest over there, which, which is good to take, uh, which we'll do. And there's some swamp plant here. And since we adapted to that, and you can see all these resource nodes here, this would be a good spot for a new city. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on here. I think that's more swamp. But, yeah. Either, any any of those spots here would be good for a new city. So, I think that's where we're going to go. To found our outpost to build a new city for us. Uh, we have a new frogman produced so we will send him out here I'll try to get him places now you can see here that there's roads sometimes on these roads they move quicker we can unlock the ability for our army later on to build roads as they move uh, so we can build some infrastructure helping move our troops along a little bit further these guys are now much more friendly with us so we share its vision so we see what they see that's why after the last turn, we got all this area revealed, which uh, is because his units are standing around here. So that's good. And we're moving toward a pact of vassalage. Then there's new subsets of relationship types to work through. But for now, uh, he's taking this area. Okay. How's up with this? Fireborn hunt. Okay, so the frog boys are like, hey, we're, we're going on a hunt. You want to come? And we have some options here. One of these is based on our affinity, and we could be like, the hunt is brutal, not ceremonial. Uh, you can celebrate this without bloodshed. We have a 60% chance of this working out. Uh, so they might like us for it, and it's, it's going to be real good. And we get Imperium. Um, otherwise, they're just... Not gonna like it, and we lose one of our affinities. Uh, so that's a that's a bit of a gamble. Mm, I think we're gonna take it. It's a little bit disappointing how how this is calculated. It's just, and now we have a success. Okay, so it worked out for us, which is good, which is great. Um, but it's it's a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> this little. Uh, interaction there. I think we're just gonna move here and found the city. Like... Right there. Or rather, we found the outpost. We'll do it here. So, this node here is occupied, so we don't get the 10 plus... Um, but we can always, always try and free it. And now we have this army of our friend here. So whether or not they like, they like it, uh, they're gonna join us in this battle. Making us stronger for it. Which is also good. Uh, next turn we'll do that. And yeah, they're going to help us with this battle specifically. Not any other. Ooh, we can annex another province. Again, we'll move toward this direction. So we can block him off. And while we have three, two foresters. Eventually the next level is going to call for... Three foresters, so let's build the third forester already. Just be prepared here. And the next thing we will want is probably something mana generating, maybe like the tithe shrine. So we'll go for ma more food now, still. See, the state hall already boosted because we got the three foresters, <laughs> but we're gonna work. Gonna wanna work on quarries next. The boosting doesn't go away for for a while now. All right, so we have a new uh, new line here. Our our yellow line is starting to come up, so we can go and get this, which gives us relation with free cities if we destroy a infestation or conquer a free city. Which can be good, especially early on, but right now I don't see any other infestations around in our direct vicinity, so we're not going to do that. We'll end our turn here. And then, as I said, well, we can move these boys closer so they even join the fight too. 
And sometimes they see the sign on the wall and they're like, okay, well, we don't want to fight actually. And we can decide whether or not we let them go. Um, something I haven't figured out so far is do we get experience from letting them go? I don't think we do. But any frog life saved is good. So we will just let them go for now. And we'll attack these here afterward and then claim the chest. And we want to clear all this out around here so we get access to all the good stuff. They also have a hero who's running around here. So that's nice. And we can now transform our race slightly. And we want the summon wild animal um, spell next so we can make more use of what we got going. So some spells you get on your strategic map, which are a strategic one, the tactical are for battle. So uh, here's an active tab, nothing there yet, but we can use 150 mana and 150 world casting points, which are these. So we don't have those right now, but in four turns, accumulating over four turns, we're gonna have them. So if we start this now, in four turns, it's gonna be ready to cast. And... We'll end our turn here. We found another empire, which is pretty funny because these are the people I have created for the last match I was playing. Um, so it's nice. You're going to meet the people that you've built down the road. They're just going to be around here. I'm not going to do anything with them. So here, at least we know exactly where they are. They're far away from us, so... Not much of an issue at the moment. Nothing for us to concern ourselves with. And there's our outpost. Right now, it's just a few tents and a little bit of wooden planks so you don't fall into the swamp. And now we can build it up. Uh, we could found a city which is cheaper for us, actually. Um, it, it would be 200 empire, uh, Imperium rather than 150. But we have our skill here. Well, actually, I don't know why it's cheaper. I thought this would do it. Why is this cheaper? Why is this cheaper than I am used to? Oh, right, 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 right. I think it is because, and I don't actually know where we can see this, but it's it's our um, prolific something, something, which we picked in the race creation thing. <clears throat> So, we could immediately go for that. So, in a turn, we're going to have a new city here. Um, we could also start building these first, which means we build our city later. But we start the city with a bunch of things. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to immediately go and let's found the city here. And now we first pick up this item. Ooh, we get a dread spider, which is a new mount. So, right now, we're riding this pig here. And... We're going to switch it to the Dread Spider because it's a better mount. Uh, you can see this thing actually has an attack with it, um, which isn't bad. This is a pretty decent attack, especially early on. Um, apart from that, they are mechanically the same. So now we have this big spider here. Uh, I hope you guys don't have any sort of arachnophobia because, well, they are slightly creepy. And in next turn, we can try and attack this here. We want to clear out... These nodes, we can't do anything about this one because they're our friend and, well, they block it off for us. How, how nice of them. And, yeah. Our negotiations have succeeded further, so we are now in a vassalage. So they give us 30% of the income, which is very nice. They give us all the magic materials. So what we were trading for before, we need, we need not trade for anymore. And the rally of the legions will come later so let's see we can trade now we can give them six mana per turn and they give us 10 production or 30 mana per turn for 10 gold which is a terrible deal but uh, six mana per turn for 10 production might be okay might be okay i'm not too fussed about it so we're not going to do it we don't get that much mana so all right so these boys here declared a rivalry on earth okay fine i don't i still don't know where they are so Kind of mean. Kind of mean of them to do this. But what can you do? Alright, now we send these boys here into battle with these. And... We're gonna do an auto combat. 
And that is pretty good. I don't think we would have done much better. Found a battle axe, which is not really for us. We take the rewards. And there is Barkshire now. So Barkshire starts out with three population, which is indeed partially due to our uh, skills and stuff. And now we get some choices. Again, remember, we want to block these off from taking our stuff, or what we perceive to be our stuff. They perceive it to be their stuff, but uh, that's where they are wrong. So we will build into here, and the same reasoning applies here. So we might want to go with a farm, we might want to go with a whatever. Uh, however, being able to build research posts is kind of rare because you need these magical resources. So, um, yeah, I think we might want to do, actually take a research post here instead of something else. It's not ideal for the development of the city. It really isn't, but uh, there you are. So we could build another research post here, or we could build a conduit, which gives us more mana, and I think we're going to take the conduit because our mana income is a little bit pathetic. So there we go. That's all we can build at the moment, but we started out real strong. Now we need to make up a little bit for it. So first thing we're going to build is actually a storehouse this time uh, to increase our food income here. Next, we don't have a governor here, so we can now recruit new heroes. You can have heroes above your limit. It's down here in the, in the hero tab. You see recruit one out of two, meaning we have a one more without a penalty. We could have three or four right now, but every subsequent hero increases how much a hero costs or higher, and they cost us 30 gold per turn to have if we're over the limit. So here we got a selection of heroes. Two of them are from our own race and two of them are from our ally. Now the ally here is our is the same race as us, but if they weren't, we would have like a human or something to choose from. Then the, the cost value is kind of related to their level and we will take one of these two instead of from our own ranks, because they're already level 3, which which is very valuable, on, honestly, and the 100 gold there doesn't make the difference. Not for us, not right now. And they have Ward Breaker, melee and physical range attacks apply Sundered Resistance, which is pretty good. And we have an aggressive tactician, start with Hasten for 3 turns, meaning they get fast movement, meaning they can move further, which isn't bad either. Um, this is a ranged hero 2, which we already have. So let's take uh, Adama's Vow. You first get a little look-see at them, so you can see, oh, they skilled this before, and they have these functions and all that kind of stuff, and we are going to be, yeah, recruit him. Now he appears in our main city, and we can bring him over to help us. We could... And it takes us a while to build these up, so we'll just build more and send them over later. I think we want a defender and a bannerman. I don't like to queue up too deep, because now that we have a second city where we need to build stuff, um, having the money available is kind of kind of good. We could also start building something here, just so it's it's ready eventually. Now we set him as the new uh, lord here, so he gets us 6 and 2 gold. Now notice we get 31 and 2 on our main hero, which is because he's the lord of the harvest. So he gets us a lot more food than a regular lord would. Now you need orders. Fine. Uh, we're not going to take that battle right now, but we're going to move into our own um, area. Just for a moment, really. Actually, we might move toward this because that's a safe, safe battle we can do. So he can wait here and we're going to take this skill now from the Imperium G so he heals quicker because he needs healing right now. So Barkshire was founded and we can end our turn. Soon we get our race transformation, which is nice. And here is turn 15. See how quickly we healed up. That's just amazing. Now we're going to move in here. Attack these auto combat again. And yeah, that was close for our pike, but uh, they managed to survive. We get another crown, which we can now give to this hero because he doesn't have anything. 
And, oh, we need to give him some stuff. So we can make him Lord of Magic, Lord of Knowledge, Lord of Production, Lord of War. Uh, Lord of War is kind of goodish, but I prefer the ones that actually give you a direct bonus to the city that they're governing. Uh, for example, 15 mana income. That's just a little bit too good to pass up. So he has Vigor 1 already, which I think is a support skill. Yeah, he says 1 learned. But what we want... Wait, what is Undying Loyalty? Target unit gets steadfast for one turn. Okay, that's not bad. But what we really want is the defense here up there. Because he's going to be in the thick of it with his sword and shield. Oh, we can give him actually the bot battle axe. Which is better than his sword. Because it's uh, one-handed. And he can still have a shield with it. So that's pretty decent. So that's good. And we'll move him a little bit closer to our main army. So we can then later engage with the piggies here. So we'll move them here. We still let them heal a little bit. We get the spell Summon Wild Animal, which is really, really good at this point. Uh, let's also research the Wild Speaker next. So we have a unit that can summon animals in battle, which is great. Uh, we can annex another province. Man, all the things that are happening. Now, we'll go for a fourth forester. Just to block him off. Uh, because he's encroaching and I don't, I don't like it. So now he can't move deeper into our territory here. Which I definitely like more than the alternative. Our negotiations with them keep succeeding. So they come closer. Bonded vassalage. More income. Uh, more contribution to Rally of the Sieges. Which hasn't happened yet. Uh, trading costs decreased by 10%. So if we look at this again. They want less for the same. So that's pretty okay. But still nothing to write home about later. It's going to be more interesting. So they took the mine over here. That's all good. Uh, right. Another event here. We're not going to read through all that. Because honestly, I'm looking just mainly at the options. You can go for the flavor text. But I'm, I'm slightly confused on... Uh, sometimes it le le reads like the green text is us or them, or it's just confusing. I, I never know who's who's doing what. So uh, we give them a small trinket. Uh, we give them nothing. Uh, all that is an option. We're just going to give them a small trinket because we're, we're going fine as it is. Uh, we don't need to throw big money at them. It's just not, that's just not our way. Okay, let's do the minor race transformation. transformation. If we click on this... Uh, we can select if we had more races in our empire, we could do that too. But right now we only have these. So we're going to click this and they're going to change slightly. Physical appearance changes slightly. See, they have glowing green eyes now, uh, which which I think is kind of neat. Now, another thing that we can do is summon wild animal, which I said is good because we, have a, we, we get a tier one animal or possibly a tier two animal. And it's going to be summoned wherever we want, except in areas where there's a spell jammer, which is only in enemy territory, really, if they built it. The upkeep is steep, so it costs us 12 mana to have such a thing. We're going to cast it, because now we can, on the, on the go, upgrade and improve this army by adding more, uh, more creatures to it. Alright, and we want to clear out uh, this, this here now. So we have two heroes in the battle. And we have all our troops, so we're gonna be fine-ish, but it's gonna hurt us. It's definitely gonna hurt us. Yeah, we lost uh, our little friends here. We lost more pikemen and almost lost our second hero, which isn't great. You want to try and avoid that. But I'm, I'm fine with this outcome. I don't think I could have done all that much better. Though, for now, it's ideal, I think, if we combine these two. So, it's not ideal in, in the long run, but for the moment, that is a good option to do. So, let's move them up here because I want to explore a little bit there and go underground. And we can claim a new province here. Again, same logic applies. We could do anything we want, but we're going to block off is access to this area. Uh, we could have gone here because we get the resources and all, but I like to kind of build against the against the borders of another thing. All right, so we acquired this now. 
meaning our relations with three cities goes up even further because we have two of these now. So they should get uh, plus 200, basically, I think. Rainbow Clover. Uh, might only count on the next turn. Our ruler leveled up, which is, of course, something we enjoy. Uh, we can't really go anything sensible here. We could give them defense or something. I'd like to give them sprint. It's something that costs us nothing to use. It has a three-turn cooldown. But it gives us slippery, elusive, and swift. So meaning we can run out of the enemy's reach. Or we could attack while within enemy reach. Um, so that's pretty neat. I, I like that. Especially for ranged heroes, which might get slightly trapped. So we're just going to do that. We, we're not going to move further because we want the regeneration bonus from our own area. A friendship with us was declared. Okay, great. So this means they're going to, over time, increase their relationship with us. I have found no benefit in starting it myself, so I rarely do it. But yeah, it's fine if they do it. We're not going to say no to that. A potential ally down the road? Very good. I think we found the other empire that, that has eluded us. They're, they're sitting here. So it's fine. I think we got a nice little corner here to ourselves. Uh, time to look for another city. And I think the next city we're going to try and found over here. There is a border coming. So there's another empire somewhere here. Uh, even more reason to go and claim this area in, in our name slightly. So we're going to go like this around here. Uh, along the edge of the map. Or we might actually go underground as I said. So we healed up pretty fairly well. So we move deeper here. Uh, these pike just were produced from here. We still have something in the pipeline, which is good. And we need to build something new here. Now, what do we need? Production and draft are kind of lacking. Uh, our mana income is going to need a boost too, because we're starting to go into that. Let's see. Mm. Let's build a tavern first. It's boosted and our people aren't too happy here. Uh, this gives some bonuses. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, I, I think uh, the city stability yeah, gives food and production income. And low stability reduces all income. So having that high is a pretty good idea. And here we can see what it does. So right now we are not neutral. So I don't think we get anything. No, no malice, no bonus. So, yeah, we want to get that up a little bit. We could use um, our Imperium to attract population. Making it a little bit quicker so they expand. We're not going to do that. New Empire development skill. Ooh, this is a good one. So we can go with expert sailors, meaning our river and coast provinces give us more food, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to do that. And we also can do the Rite of the Guardian Spirit, which will summon a spirit wolf with resurgence, meaning when it dies in a victorious battle, it will just be coming back in our main city, which is pretty cool. Um, so we can be a little bit haphazard with them. We can do this one more times. So you can see how some are like uh, this hex and some are round. The round ones are just bonuses you unlock. And these you can do multiple times if you have the Imperium for them. So we're going to do both. We, we, we want this. We have some coastline. And we want to get the wolf. Because that's great. So now we have a wolf standing around here. Which is a level 3 unit. Which is early on very powerful. Don't don't dismiss this. Uh, so we're going to send him toward our army. To reinforce ourselves here. Ow, yeah. Cool. A new rally has started. I've been talking about this. So three cities contribute to this. And they give points, which you can spend here. So you can see these units cost something. So we can have a level 2 and a level 1 unit. And this is what they contribute. So we can select uh, to get an archer and a defender. And we can then either give it to them to be more strong and, and better defensible. Or we can rec rec recruit to ourselves, which I like to do because... They are definitely cheaper than buying them outright for ourselves. They're even cheaper sometimes to recruit for ourselves. And they're just going to be there in two turns. So this is a really strong thing. Uh, Rally of the Legions is, is amazing. The yellow line has a lot of stuff going into that. So you can really go crazy there. 
eventually the bonuses drop off slightly because not only free cities contribute but also these little wonder thingies that we haven't really seen yet um but their unit quality doesn't improve over time i found so yeah, early on quite powerful later on not so much and with that i think we're gonna leave it for today thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoy if you've got any questions concerns whatever else down in the comments please and see you around next time until then bye bye